Why do you think there's so much concern about about me? Yes, uh, Mr. Senator, I think it's probably because I um, uh, was very active when I was serving as the Minsk Group co-chair uh, and Deputy Assistant Secretary of State. Uh, I spent uh, a huge amount of my time, over I would guess over 60% of my time in the region, and was strongly encouraged by Secretary of State and my other superiors to be as present in media as possible, to try to shape the, the attitudes in each country, uh, whether that was Georgia or the Republic of Cyprus or Greece, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Turkey. Uh, that's what I was uh, encouraged to do. So I did. And my philosophy when it came to Nagorno-Karabakh was I'm not worth my weight in anything. If I am not taking the hits publicly and trying to push the leaders out of their comfort zone and trying to encourage them mm, to take the political risks required for a settlement, uh, to do that, it required me to say things that made one side or the other side a bit uncomfortable, in my estimation. To do that, we co-chairs agreed that we would try to divulge certain elements of these basic principles or offer our assessments of the negotiations in a way that would catalyze progress. And that has led to people being unhappy on both sides because sometimes people don't want to be catalyzed.